Hello and thanks for tuning in to this SUP Water video. Has the weather got you down a bit lately? Are you lacking motivation to get out paddling on those drizzly or cold days? Well, we are here to kick those blues and provide you with some ideas around how you can stay motivated to paddle when the weather is against you. Let's get straight into it. Sometimes the weather is just too gnarly for us to even go outside, let alone go for a paddle. So if you've been cooped up for a while and it's looking likely the weather isn't going anywhere and you can't get on the water, here are a few tips to keep that stoke alive. First off, get planning. Planning your next paddle can be just as fun as actually paddling. You could be planning an adventure touring sup in summer or scanning out the best places to stop for the night. You also might be planning what to pack on that adventure. Planning this trip with some friends can also help to stay motivated too as the conversation just flows around paddling. Planning to enter a race can be exciting and a new challenge for some of us as well. Of course, you may need some training beforehand, so planning an event well into the future and this should get your sup juices flowing. On a similar note to entering a race, getting involved in some workouts can help to improve your strength and flexibility for the next season or even the next session on the water. Home workouts can be fun and tailored to suit sup specific muscle groups, which means when you're back out on the water, you'll be faster and more agile. Why not escape the weather and hit the sun for a well-deserved SUP holiday overseas? We understand COVID has scuppered a lot of travel plans, but researching and finding out where it allows you to travel might just ignite your paddling passion again. ISUPs are easy to take on a plane and you can just about rent high boards anywhere in the world nowadays if you plan to travel without your board. If you're truly stuck indoors, then take out your equipment and properly prepare them for the next paddle. Check your gear for signs of damage and repair any dings to keep you on the water next time for longer. Cleaning up your boards and equipment as well is a great way to pass the time and gets you excited about using it again. Remember to check your paddle, fins, leashes, safety gear, and clothing too when going through your kit checklist. Watching SUP videos always gets me excited for my next paddle. You can kick back and relax to one of the great SUP movies like The SUP Movie or The Longest Ride, or even check out some awesome touring videos that we have posted on the site from many people all over the world. Watching content like this inspires us and also gives us ideas on what we might want to do as well. You may even consider watching some how-to videos or learning some new maneuvers or paddling techniques. Having something to look forward to keeps the excitement going and really helps to motivate you to get back on the water as soon as you can. Now, if the weather is bleak, drizzly or cold, but you can still get out on the water, but maybe you don't really want to, here are some ideas to grab your paddle and your board and head down to the water. Trying something new. It's the best way to kill boredom or motivate you when the weather is not on your side. There are so many disciplines within SUP that you may or may not have heard of, and there's a SUP discipline for just about every type of weather, well, almost every type of weather. And here are a few to get you thinking. SUP fishing can be a fun and new way to explore your local waterway and a great way to think about your gear selection too. You may need a license, so check that with your local waterway authority. Why not try planning an overnight touring adventure somewhere local to you for a first time go? The weather may not be on your side, but you can plan for when the weather is better or even buy the right gear to keep you warm or dry. If it is raining, you can bet there'll be some moving water somewhere. Now, whilst we don't recommend heading out on your own, we recommend reaching out to a local SUP school or white water club that can get you started on some lessons and understanding more about paddling on moving water. Trying SUP surfing can be really, really fun as well. You at least know that you're going to get wet anyway, so there's no excuse not to get out there if the conditions are right. Again, seek out some local SUP instructors or lessons to get you on the right track. They'll be operating if the surf is good, no matter what time of year usually. If you're thinking about upgrading your gear, now might be a really good time to do it. It will get you motivated for the next session for sure. Researching what you need or even calling up your local SUP store can be useful. Quite a few retailers and distributors have demo equipment as well, so you can try it before you buy, which makes the process way less stressful and fun at the same time. Maybe a new paddle, board or even just a new leash and wax can sometimes be enough to ignite that motivation again. 
Not to mention, you should consider buying the right clothing to make your paddling much more enjoyable. There are some great options for clothing out there which can keep you dry, warm, or both. Keeping yourself accountable as well is really important. Plan to paddle with a friend during the week to make sure that you both get out there and enjoy your time on the water. Telling someone else you're going paddling can often be enough to hold yourself accountable and get out there. On a similar note, joining a paddle club is a great way to get out there in the not so great weather days and to go paddling as a group. Researching other paddling locations that may be protected by the weather can be a great way to get out in the water. We'd suggest doing a dry fire to scout out new areas on different tides and wind directions to make sure it's possible, but with a little bit of research, there'll be somewhere to paddle on even the most miserable of days. This goes for finding a new flat water location or even a new surf spot. Trying other sports can benefit your paddling too. Plus, sometimes it's nice to have a break from paddling and then when you come back, you enjoy it even more. You can try prone surfing, foiling, winging, skateboarding, you name it. But most of all, if you are heading out on a not so great day, remember to be safe and above all, have fun. But if you're not enjoying it, Try something new on your board, like challenging yourself to one of our sup border challenges to step back turn, paddling on one foot, or cross-stepping your way to the nose and tail. You can have a lot of fun just by doing something different on your board when you're out on the water next time. There you have it, a whole wide range of ideas on how you can stay motivated to paddle when the weather is against you. How do you keep motivated to paddle when the weather isn't great? We'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, so please, do type some comments down there. We hope this video and the ideas within it are useful to you. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all again very soon.